Hey YouTube, this is me, your boy Zach from Zach TV. Um, it's the weekend, and I have with me here a Toshiba Satellite 750 slash 755. As you would know by now, this model Toshiba laptop uh, carries a various amount of problems, and today the problem with this one is that. Uh, it's not uh, fully powering up um, after you hit the power button it would just shut down you wouldn't get any display uh, it it just keeps hanging all the time so today we'll go through a basic troubleshooting exercise and uh, we'll try to figure out what the problem is well, like I said, it's the weekend, I'm home, a customer came with this issue, so I'm just trying to help them out. I don't have all the necessary tools here, but we learn how to troubleshoot it with the basic, uh, just a star screwdriver and uh, a flat. So what I do first is I'll take out the battery. So after we remove the battery, um, we will remove the covers from uh, the memory and remove that little um, shield that is protecting the memory the memory cards and um, it's basic it's three screws there you just um, unscrew them and pry it up gently not too hard to break it um, just remember the screws do not come all the way out you just unscrew them till it cannot be unscrewed anymore and uh, once that's done, we will take out the hard drive. So basically, that's that's the way I do it. I do something what you call isolation. You you take out um, stuff like the memory, the hard drive. Uh, you take out the CD drive. So far, the hard drive is out. Now we'll try to power it up without the hard drive just to see if maybe it's the hard drive that is causing the problem as you can see um, still nothing so it's not the hard drive problem it's nothing okay the next step is to remove the memory and um, we remove the memory to see if uh, we'll get any error songs, any beeps. Because we know as long as the memory is out, you cannot, you will not have any display. So we're looking to see if maybe we'll we'll get a beep or something, just to be sure that uh, the processor is responding, um, just to make sure that everything is everything. So. Um, here we go. Still nothing. No beeps. Nothing. And it's still shut down as you can see. Okay. So, it's neither the memory or the hard drive. So, now we will remove this screw. This screw is the one that um, is holding a little plastic strip that is covering the keyboard so that um, if we do not remove this well then we would not be able to um, take the keyboard out uh, that's the next thing we will take out so we need to put uh, the memory back in just in case um, it's the keyboard so we can see what's happening on the screen so um, now we'll just remove this little plastic strip that is just over the screws for the keyboard you can use a flat uh, screwdriver or um, if you have one of these um, little pry tools um, like, I'm, like I said I'm home I, I do not have these things at my home um, I have all the tools at my workplace so I got a little uh, in fact a very big flat screwdriver here um, yes there we go so we remove this plastic strip and that will reveal a bunch of screws underneath there that is holding the uh, 
keyboard in place. So we'll take these screws out and then we'll try to power it up without the keyboard and the ha without the hard drive. So uh, basically when we do a troubleshoot in this manner we will know exactly who, um, which hardware is conflicting or which hardware is causing issues. Pop that out. Take it easy. You do not want to rip the flex cable all the way out. It's a simple clip there. You can just raise up and that will come out very easily. So now let's try to power this up without the keyboard now. See what happens. Okay. Mm wow. Bingo. See, look, um, there we have it. We can see display, we can see no boot device found. That's because the hard drive is out. So, right there and then, we know it's the keyboard that is the cause of uh, the shutdown or it's the cause of we not having any display whatsoever. Okay. So the next step is to reinstall the hard drive and we'll try to power this laptop all the way up. Um, let's get that in there. That's it. So, um, let's just screw this down for safety because um, we don't want it falling out. While we're trying to power the laptop on, can't seem to find the screw. Oh, there it is. So please remember when um, removing a hardware from any any uh, electrical device to unplug it. Make sure there is no power going to the device because um, that can do some pretty bad damage and um, can cost you more than you're trying to save so let's see what happens next so again it comes on you can see on the screen um, well I don't the, the keyboard is unplugged so We'll now connect one of these USB desktop keyboards so we can select um, the boot option and hopefully we'll be able to completely boot this laptop and um, see if there's any other problems we'll need to look into before I give this customer the glad tidings. Windows 7 boot logo There we go Let me select a profile Bingo So this Toshiba Satellite 750 is now on and seems to be functioning properly so we can safely say the keyboard was the cause of the problem so we'll have to replace that well like thank you for watching hit like subscribe stay tuned to this channel peace